Hey, it's me Rishikesh Kannan, popularly known as Rishi K. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon now to get the latest videos and get taken into a world of entertainment, culture, sport, business and current affairs. When you see him, if you don't know him as a person and you see him, he comes with this whole demeanor of like I'm a very serious person. <laughs> like you know, I I like you 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 are a little I mean I was a little nervous till the first time I was on the same screen as him. Uh and it was just, like he was playing the character and he was very serious and everything and the moment it was cut he became who he is and he was so welcoming he was so warm and he was um um uh, like he literally like just took us under his wings like you know all three of us so uh, i think it was great work with him so much fun you you want to add to that veer because i mean bombsy is a bit of a legend he is isn't he Yeah, definitely a legend, and he uh, like not only his acting, not his not only uh, his humor uh, outside the scene. He, I think, is like there are many things to learn from Baman sir. Like you know, third day uh, into the shooting, he remember each and every uh, person's name, and you feel stupid because you're like, hey, Tata's name, what? Are you? What name? Can he would remember each and every one, and. Uh, uh, I I I had many things uh, in my head ki aise karenge waise karenge but I think from second day onwards he made sure that nobody is like indulging in uh, uh, or no, nobody is like too non serious about the scene and everything very I mean there's so much to learn that I can't like I have to make notes on uh, like how much we've learned from Baman sir because that guy has something in him that just really works yaar Manjari Veer nice to see you guys many congratulations on uh, the release of Masoom which is just around the corner how are you guys feeling Thank Manjari you. how are you feeling <laughs> I'm very excited I'm quite thrilled I can't wait for 17th of June <laughs> Veer what about you I'm patiently waiting sir I'm waiting I'm counting each and every day I'm waiting uh, for 17th aa jaye jaldi se aur hame pata lag jaye ki aap ko kaise lag raha hai isko Okay I'm going to try and play this after the 17th so that there are no spoilers because there are some things that I need to discuss about your characters which are very very important um okay. but to start with you I mean you guys play siblings on the show this is a troubled character in a troubled family I mean her her marriage is in, is in on track uh there's something off with the father's behavior but through it all there seems to be lots of family bonding it's almost as though you know there can be dysfunctional people in this family but we're going to keep it together i'd like you to talk about that so uh, the character i play in the series is sanjana as you rightly said she is uh, she is somebody who loves her family and wants to keep everyone together and it it really troubles her the kind of um not very normal relationships we all share it's very complex characters and very complex relation interpersonal relationships we share and um, so yeah so my character basically is uh, you know she is uh, she is completely supportive of her father she absolutely loves her father and um, you know her father can never go wrong while because i'm the elder sibling in the family you know i'm a little authoritative towards my other siblings and i'm i'm i mean if you when you watch the series um you will constantly see my character you know snapping at sana you will constantly see her being on the edge whenever she is there especially um but what you will discover through the show is that there's a lot she is suppressing there's a lot she holds back with her be it family secrets be it her personal uh, struggles her personal secrets so which slowly get revealed through the show so we yeah. um you've never played gay before have you i mean it's it's revealed very early on i think in episode 1 2 itself uh, i just, yeah. just jog back your memory i mean it's it's been an extensive career on uh, online and otherwise but i wanted to know if this is your very first time yeah this is the very first time i'm playing a gay character yes was there any apprehension did you have to talk to me here did you have to talk to guru uh, did you think twice before signing the script because they must have told you up front that this is what you know the character entails uh actually when i was asked i was asked by nikita the casting director uh, when i was called for the audition i had everything with me and uh, the scene itself 
mentioned that i'm playing this character and i think she uh, asked me in the audition room only that you're comfortable playing a gay character and i didn't even wait for one second because you always prepared as an actor that whatever comes your way you have to do it right so my yes was uh, immediate but uh, yeah when i was preparing for it when i was doing it i was thinking about it a lot because no matter how much you try to avoid but you also representing a community and you representing uh, um, some sort of dilemma or uh, struggle that people go through right but uh, um, when i met mihir when i started uh, doing the readings and everything i understood that we have to make this character this character rather than you know uh, an idea of the whole uh, representation and it helped because mihir's uh, idea was always to keep sanjeev as sanjeev no matter what his sexuality is he is that guy who's in a house uh, who's probably asked to stand at attention all the time but his shoulders are most of the time dropped and you know that confidence is not there and he just feels that you know my time will come and i'll do it one day but he is always a best so yeah that's a, that's a very interesting answer manjari yeah. I, i think it's slightly easier for for someone like a veer or someone like a samara who are fundamentally from the north uh but both bombsy and you did you have to uh, work very hard at the punjabi at the lingo at the dialect i mean uh, punjabi constantly it's a mix of hindi and punjabi yes of course even then uh did you have to work a lot did you have a dialect coach that you had to work with so yes there was a dialect coach uh, out there in punjab for us but apart from that uh, you know what really helped me is the fact that i come from an army background so i have been brought up in north most of my life in the beginning uh so you know i mean i understand the whole punjabi lingo a little bit you know from delhi and like you know all those places so i kind of had an idea of it but of course because the dialect coach it also helped a lot more and uh, of course rest um, you know i mean the whole look and all to care of the whole thing so yeah i really enjoyed playing a punjabi i think the first time i'm playing a punjabi in uh, in cricket and and veer uh, now let's look into the whole sociological milieu of of masoom i mean the punjab especially rural punjab is full of testosterone i mean there are alpha males these guys are supposed to be all you know power uh, you know tough uh, tough guys and things like that and here's a guy who obviously is going through a lot because he's a gay character there plus you know there are there's a lot of turmoil that's going in his life uh, it's not a spoiler because even in the trailer it's there that he's lost his mother um and there's a lot of pent up emotion being what he is in this kind of society um so as an actor what do you do do you go into back stories do you just use the current script as a reference do you have conversations with meher and guru i do have conversations with the director that goes without saying because uh, you know you're always uh, trying to understand the context of that scene what you're doing at that point of time right i can do my homework i can get many nuances to the character but i always always remember to keep the context of the scene intact because it's already been written and uh, they already have expectations out of this character to do that in this scene so the context never goes away but uh, I I I'm I was born in Chandigarh I've been raised uh, all my life I've studied there I've, I've raised in Chandigarh and you're right about that so strong thing but the turmoil also is somewhere around that because out of 10 people if nine people are all out there with you know their courage and their their whole personality you will find that personality that is a little uncomfortable in that scenario and you know a little like you know जैसे पंजाब में ऐसा होता है गांव गाँव में जो लड़का थोड़ा साऊ होता है थोड़ा शरीफ होता है उसका नाम ही बचपन से निकनेम भोला रख देते हैं भोलू रख देते हैं जैसे होता है ना इफ यू गो टू पंजाब देन निकनेम्स आर लाइक रियली रियली सिंपल इफ समी किसी की कम्प्लेक्शन ज्यादा हुआ है तो उसका नाम काला रख देते हैं कोई बहुत ही ज्यादा गोरा है तो उसका नाम गोरा रख देते हैं किसी की बिल्ली आंखें हैं तो उसका नाम बिल्ला रख देते हैं तो बहुत Ola, you'll see in many uh, villages in Punjab, which are these guys who are not as aggressive as all the other men in the pend, probably. But he's a nice guy. You'll understand. He, I mean, yeah, he's a nice guy. So, वैसे ही I think अपनी surrounding के साथ ये character जो भी है, I think uh, the reason he's also uh, at ease because of his mother, because of his sisters, 
like sanjana uh, being the elder sister he has that comfort ki matlab ha matlab i'm not going to get bullied in my house uh, maybe sometimes maybe sometimes except by her <laughs> 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 but yeah. but uh, but your character Manjari is the one that's closest to the father is the one that's closest to Baman I mean she's that's almost right. like a papa ki chamchi isn't she between Samara oh, yeah. and Veer's yeah, character yes. Ross yeah, yeah. is the one which is really really He's papa ki kadchi not in chamchi <laughs> 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 and it obviously has something to do with the fact that you know he's always been there when there have been problems when there's a yeah. problem in her in a marriage when her child has to get educated yeah. he's always that central figure there uh, yes. so talk to me about that that father daughter relationship that you share with baman's character so uh, as you rightly said so my character uh, you know she is she loves her father she will stand with him through thick and thin she is completely supportive she will fight with anybody who's trying to go against her father which is why my equation with the uh, sanas character samara she's saying that so with sanas character slightly strained because she's always she's a rebel in the family and she's always trying to point fingers at my father i mean our father uh, you know and i don't like that because you know i i'm protective i'm very protective about my father and you know of uh, what somebody thinks about him or whatever and of course my character is holding back a lot of um, family secrets she's holding back a lot of personal turmoil and so even though like you know you will see my character through the series constantly um, snapping at uh, sana's character uh, you know always on the edge you know but but that's because she is suppressing a lot inside you that's my cat sorry <laughs> so uh, you will see her you know um dealing with a lot inside holding back a lot so so yeah that's basically my character and the thing so veer since you're from chandigarh hmm. i'm sure you must have been the the guide for manjari as well as baman the mumbaikers and you know <laughs> eat some good punjabi food in rural punjab <laughs> actually hamara khana to definitely bahut hi acha tha because set pe khana ban raha tha and uh, but we didn't have a lot of time to actually go and uh, figure out places but my mother was there and every time i would go to set i would just get uh, big casseroles with kada prasad because everybody loved that or bahut hi thandi thi to sabko hi bahut pasand aaya tha so i did that couple of times there was this one time she made saag i got saag uh, uh, for everyone to ha matlab khate rehte the i also i think shoot jab khatam ho raha tha to i called everyone home and we uh, ate at home also मतलब खाने के मामले में आई थिंक एवरीबडी कड़ा प्रसाद now <laughs> 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 some secrets there <laughs> yeah because manjri ka vanity mere saath wala tha na to before it goes to everyone like she would decide her quantity <laughs> <laughs> so she would keep it aside and say now you can yeah, yeah. yeah so so what did what is it that you most love manjri so um so unfortunately i missed out on that evening uh, who at Veer's place where he had invited yeah. everyone. I wasn't. I think I was done or something, or I had gone back or whatever. I was not in town that day, so I missed it. But uh, so that's why I mean, Kada Prasad is like. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'm getting. I mean, you're salivating thinking of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 but you know you guys you guys are the experienced campaigners in terms of the fact that you know manjri has been around for a while we you also you know you've done a fair amount of work but samara's more or less a debutant i mean uh, her first film was bob biswas which was shujoy and his daughter's film uh, manjri what do you think of her performance uh, in in masoom so i i really think um, samara has done a very mature job it was a very complex character for her and uh, she has been quite a revelation and not just her performance like even um, i was saying that earlier as well uh, in another interview but that's so true 
um you know i have seen so many actor actresses like you know obviously i've worked with so many actresses even myself for that matter i mean you know we all tend to get a little insecure about how we are looking on camera or like you know how we are like you know how is our hair correct or is our makeup correct uh but samara is so um she doesn't care you know she's so unassuming she just goes on screen does her thing she doesn't care like you know how she's looking on screen or not i mean like she's just so real and so natural in everything that she's done so i think um, she i think people are going to really love her performance she's fab yeah and and it's a special bond isn't it veer between your character and her character because she's probably the only one who really <laughs> understands you in this family you know he feels misunderstood by the father by the elder sister but this is this <laughs> is a, a special bond isn't it uh, um i can't really say that if she understands or she doesn't understand we'll have to see the show to understand who understands <laughs> but uh, samara i think she comes with certain sort of intelligence uh, which i think really helped her uh, in that character because uh, there are uh, like again i like the actors who understand the context you know sometimes when you're like so blinded by your performance that you forget that what the next person is saying or you know what the scene is all about it's, and they rather play with their face and their expressions and they, they try to do as much as they can do in that scene but samara i think comes from a little bit of understanding of how things work because she's also worked as an ad she also like uh, her father is also from film industry and she understand basically that uh, this is more of a team job rather than one person's uh, glory and that's why it's fun with uh, her every time that we uh, work together all the scenes that we've done together it's not that we have to prepare like we never prepared before the scene messy bol deta hu to aise bol de to aise bolegi to messy bol deta hu most of the time it came during the scene and it was very it was very comforting to just know this person as your sibling rather than another actor trying to do the scene you know that's nice that's good yeah and and manjari never a dull moment when mamani rani is around right but then they tell me that Absolutely. he is very different when he's offset and he's relaxed because yeah. he's the he's the regular joyous parsi but when he's working yeah. he's really really serious would you agree yeah. with that <laughs> i would completely agree with that because i remember the first time i walked with him um like you know first scene was together and it was like you know i mean when you see him if you don't know him as a person and you see him he comes with this whole demeanor of I'm a very serious person. <laughs> like you know, I, I, like you, you, you are a little. I mean, I was a little nervous, you know, the first time I was on the same screen as him. Uh, and it was just, like he was playing the character, and he was very serious and everything. And the moment it was cut, he became who he is, and he was so welcoming. He was so warm, and he was um, uh, like he literally like just took us under his wings, like you know, all three of us. so uh, i think it was great work with him so much fun you you want to add to that veer because i mean B- bombsy is a bit of a legend he is isn't he yeah definitely a legend and he like not only his acting not his only his humor uh, outside the scene he i think is like there are many things to learn from bamun sir like you know third day uh, into the shooting he remember each and every uh, person's name and you feel stupid because you're like hey dada ka naam kya hai are unka naam kya hai he would remember each and every one and uh, uh, i i i had many things in my head ki aise karenge waise karenge but i think from second day onwards he made sure that nobody is like indulging in uh, or you know, nobody is like too non serious about the scene and everything very i mean there's so much to learn that i can't like i have to make notes on uh, like how much we've learned from bamun sir because that guy has something in him that just really works yaar like you know he would he would do the scene and we've done the scene and it's not like epic but we're like ha sahi hai sahi hai he's like nahi yaar sahi to karna nahi hai na we have to find something he would make uh, me he said me said and we would sit and we would think of something and then he's like yeah let's try and do it like this and the moment you do it you're like yeah i'm convinced more with this uh, uh, uh this way of saying things rather than what we were doing earlier yeah bahut kuch seekhne ko mila manjari this is also a really epic team because you know guru uh, gurmeet as well as mihir are behind mirzapur which is one of the cult shows of our generation so working with this team working with mihir working with guru and also namit 
you know these guys yeah. are are really fun guys also very experienced i'd like you to talk about that so um so i go back a long way with guru so wow. guru had directed uh, one of his first films warning uh which we did together and i think it till date it's been what 10 years since we shot for warning till date it has been my most cherished memory of any film i worked on we were shooting for two months in fiji uh and it it is it is a film i am most proud of i think that was a masterpiece and coming from guru in the first few films of his you know um so i'm very very proud of him unfortunately the film did not uh, get the due it deserved uh but i'm still so proud of it so after almost 9 years because we shot this uh, series last year after 9 years i got this opportunity to work again with him and uh, on this lovely series and that's when i met uh, mihir and I, i should say this about both mihir and guru when you meet them they are the most soft spoken <laughs> sweet well mannered two guys you know and you cannot believe they <laughs> detected something like a mirza pur you know with the kind of language and everything so uh, but i think that's what the greatness in you know their uh, um, in them as filmmakers is to completely mold themselves into uh, a personality which they don't themselves relate to at all and to just to create that authenticity of what they are making right so um that was great and mihir of course my first um, um, i met for the first time through this project such a wonderful director like so calm and um, loved his vision as a director i mean you know the kind of sensibilities he comes from um even for actors you know like he kind of trusted every actor that he took in his series he trusted us in kind of getting uh, the nerve of every character that each one of us has played so he never interfered with our work as an actor but if he felt there was something more we could add or if there was something uh, like you know while we are playing our field on the camera you know if he feels there's something we can add or something which is not working he will very silently without disturbing our process as an actor come piche se chupke se kaan mein we will just whisper something which we need to know and it just changed our perspective without disturbing us and it would just come another level the performance would be another level after that so i think he was fantastic to work with lovely a, l- a last lifestyle question before we sign off what's on your phones what kind of music are you guys listening to these days is it bollywood music is it international music your favorite songs or favorite tunes veer Oh, uh, I've been. I, I'm not going to lie about it. I've been listening to uh, Musawala since three days now, four days now, and I can't stop uh, thinking about him, listening to his music and everything. And there are very few people who understand the actual Tate Punjabi. And once you understand that, there is no going back. So I've been just listening to him since. Yes. Very, very tragic now. what happened. Very yeah, tragic what happened. Yeah, I know. Manjri, what's on your phone? So I have been exploring some really interesting independent artists. So I I really love the music of Anup Jain, and uh, I really I'm liking Mitra's that band really a lot, and um, of course Kanishk said, you know all that lovely lovely music. Yeah, I mean I'm really exploring some new stuff right. Did now. you know that Anup Jain is almost from where we shot? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, Chandigarh. From Ludhiana. Well, Ludhiana. From Ludhiana. In fact, I remember Samara introduced me to the music of Anup Jain uh, in our car drive from hotel to shoot. Ah, uh, Samara se puchna usko Anup Jain kisne suna? Samara has the <laughs> best playlist. She has the best playlist. As I would like wait to go with her in the car because she had the most amazing songs playing on uh, the journey. So yeah, lovely. Seventeenth of June, Masoom, starring Manjri, Veer, Baman, Samara. comes to your ott screens it's on disney plus hotstar thanks for your time guys lots of love bye veer thank, thank you, you so much bye, bye. 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 bye.